Hello YouTube. Today, Peepaw Cookie and Callie and I are on another adventure and we've come to Mount Dora, Florida to come and see one of the most pet friendly towns in the, the state of Florida. So why don't you guys come along with us and see what we see? Mount Dora. Come on, let's go. Just where it was needed. Historic district along the historic district here in Mount Dora, and there's it's a Sunday, so you can see that there are a lot of places open and a lot of things to do. And we have Cooking Cali with us, and we've seen a lot of people walking their dogs. Good, how are you? So we're just walking along, checking this out. We're going to go over to the community market. Some really neat shops here. There's about two, two or three uh, dog related shops right here in the historic district. And this has a bakery. You can order from them online. Dogs have to be on a leash, they can come in there. Cute little place. Okay, so we have found our way down to the community market, and it's around a park here, just east of the main street, which is right over there. From where we parked up by the tennis courts, it's only probably been maybe a half of a mile to walk here. All right guys, so we found our first stop and it was Bunny's and Macarons and Bunny's right there. And you can find her on Facebook and I will drop the link in the description for you guys. She does ship, but they have to be refrigerated. And she uses, she bakes all of these herself. Here's her prices. That's without shipping. And I got hooked on these when we went over to France and did the river cruise where we actually went to the town where Macarons were developed by the nuns. So, when I saw her, I had to stop. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, see you later. So, we stopped at Orlando Fresh Bread's um, booth, and we picked up a focaccia bread that was black olives. And we just decided to just sit here on the square in the market, in the shade, and have that for lunch. How is it, Peepa? Great. And the fellow that's selling the uh, smashes has bottled water to make the smashes with and gave us two bottles of water because he didn't believe in selling a lot. Oh, yeah. So, he was a great guy. So we had to go back and buy a box, uh, bag of cheese, cheese curds. Cheese curds. So we'll have cheese curds later. Today. Yeah. He's a great guy. We love cheese curds. So it's really... Outdoor is really a nice place to come and visit if you're over here. And this market happens every Sunday. We also stopped by the village coffee pot and got an ice cream. So if you're ever wanting a sweet tooth fulfilled, you can stop by here while you're in Mount Dora too. You have arrived. And this is the Gilbert Park that's there. So we 
we've come down here to Gilbert Park, but this right here is the uh, Mount Dora Lighthouse. And some people debate this, but this is an official, officially registered aid to navigation, this lighthouse on an inland waterway. And it's here on Grantham, on Grantham Point, uh, adjacent to the park. Locals here call it the Lighthouse Park. And it's built right beside the Simpson Cove docks. And it is a navigational aid for folks to be able to get back off of Lake Dora to the boat ramp safely. And it was built in 1988 from bricks and they're stucco covered. Uh, you cannot go inside of it, but it's a great photo opportunity and one of the best known landmarks here in Mount Dora. So we're coming back up on Gilbert Park here. And uh, this is on our way back going down to Trimble Park, which does have, it's a county campground. And uh, it's basically just like around this other side of the lake from here. But as you, if you get routed to come this direction by Gilbert Park, this is not an RV friendly road because of the train trestle. But if you look right up here, this train trestle that is one of the, this is the way the GPS routed us to go to, to um, Trimble Park. And it's only nine foot six clearance and very narrow. So I wouldn't recommend this for RVs. Amazing watching till the end and remember clicking and sharing helps others be able to find the channel. So until next time guys, keep exploring life matters. We'll see you later. Bye bye.